Senate Bill 221 was signed on Monday and bans using a victim's gender, gender identity, gender expression or sexual orientation as a panic defense. New at 10 o'clock, we sent our night beat reporter Rob Higgin to speak with one of the legislators celebrating the passage of this bill, and he stands by live with more. Rob. Catering Colorado State Representative Matt Soper says the law before this new bill did not fit the definition of equality. It didn't fit the definition of personal responsibility, and it didn't fit the definition of justice until now. The Delta County Courthouse was established in 1958, but Senate Bill 221 was signed just days ago, and it wasn't easy. To have a bill killed, and then to have to lobby for late bill status for it to be brought back, knowing that the window of opportunity is on your side, uh, was definitely, uh, it was, was pretty cool to be a part of. This new bill bans old ways of using gay or transgender panic as a defense in a court of law. We're not going to allow someone at trial to introduce evidence talking about the sexual persuasion or the sexual identity of the victim. State Representative Soper's new bill was signed Monday, ending gay panic defense. And the Monday before that, his broadband bill was signed to help potentially boost internet connection in rural Colorado. But Matt's not done. His next goal is in November. I'm out talking to lots of groups. I'm uh, knocking on doors, making phone calls, raising money, doing all the good things you, you should do as a candidate. Although this year it's been kind of tricky with COVID-19. COVID-19 can make a campaign tricky and it can definitely delay the law enforcement integrity bill from being fully implemented, but it can't delay the inevitable. We want to make sure we have a healthy balance between uh, protecting law enforcement and protecting the public. And we want to make sure that, that we have that balance and we're not arbitrarily punishing law enforcement just because that seems to be in vogue right now. State Representative Matt so Soper says he believes an individual should be personally responsible for the decisions they make and that that ideology is shared by every lawmaker. Now that Senate Bill 221 has been signed into law, it's another step towards fitting the definition of fairness. First on the Western Slope and live at the Mesa County Justice Center, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Katrin? Rob, thank you very much.